Hello and welcome to Cost Engineering Professional. I am Ahmed Adel and in this video we will be talking about the labor productivity rates for the different activities in construction projects starting right now. So these numbers or productivity rates are rates that you will be needing in case you are doing an estimate for a project and you want to know the cost of manpower or if you are a planning engineer and you are doing the resource planning or the manpower planning for the project you will still need the productivity rates and we have talked in previous videos about how to calculate it and all of that but here in this video I want to give you the numbers for the different activities so you can start using these numbers and we will start with the activities that will come under the general requirements of the project such as the temporary site fencing and as we can see here we need two carpenters and eight helpers to do 50 linear meters of site fencing so this is the productivity here and actually the format that you are seeing here is a format that I am using to calculate the cost of the this work crew which consists of eight labors here and how much is their productivity per day so it will give me the cost per unit but this is not the subject of the video the subject of the video I just want you to know the productivity of this item which is temporary site fencing I need two carpenters and eight helpers to do 50 linear meters of site fencing per day day going to the second activity here which is the project sign board so I need one carpenter and I need three helpers to do one project sign board to fix one sign board I need three helpers and one carpenter for one day to fix one project sign board then after that if we go to the temporary site office and the store so it's just one caravan let's say of two rooms I need two carpenters and eight helpers so ten labors I need to install this caravan in one day with the help of mobile crane of course and then after that we can go to the concrete casting so the concrete casting I am only casting the concrete so for the concrete casting I need one helper and one mason to cast 12 cubic meters of concrete per day and this is coming from another calculation where I had how many meters cube I needed and how many labors I had in the site and when you do the calculation or when you do the math it results that one helper and one mason can cast about 12 cubic meters per day all these calculations are assumptions and they are mine so they can be different from yours the labors who worked with me let's say maybe your labors are better than them or worse than them so these are just numbers for you to start with and you can develop from there you can increase the productivities or decrease the productivities and so on so for the concrete casting as we said one helper and one mason can cast 12 cubic meters per day then after that we have the form work for the shuttering and actually I split this item here into two items I have the general form work which is the form work of any element other than the slabs and I have the form work for the slabs so two items are there so if I am doing any item other than the slab I need one carpenter to do four square meters of form work in a beam in a column in a core wall whatever but if I am working with a slab I need one scaffolder and one carpenter to do seven square meters per day so here this is the form work for the items that are not related to slabs here and this is the form work of slabs one carpenter in any other item other than slab can do four square meters per day and for the slab form work I need one carpenter and one scaffolder to do seven square meters per day after that if I go to the steel fixing one steel fixer can do 250 kgs per day one steel fixer can fix 200 kg per day and actually all the numbers that I am giving you here these numbers again are my numbers but the thing is that here this number is minimum because I am using these productivities for cost estimation and because I want to make my estimate very much reliable and in the safe side so I am using the minimum productivities so the productivity Activities can be more than that you can go up to 30 or 40 percent more than the numbers that I am having here because I have given these productivities to a planner before and he told me that when he planned the resources using these productivities he found out that he needs too much resources which is by his experience the project doesn't require all of that but I am explaining now why because these are minimum let's say and when we talk about the steel fixing actually 250 kg of 
fixing but we have another workshop that is doing cutting the steel and bending the steel so the productivity of a steel fixer who is working in the workshop cutting and bending is much higher but the productivity of the steel fixer who is fixing the steel after it is being cut and bent is less but let's say on average both together one steel fixer is working in the workshop and another one is working on the slab to fix the steel so on average the steel fixer in the project can do about 250 to 350 kg per day so this is about the steel fixing now let's go to the block work in installation so for the block work we need one mason and one helper to install or fix eight square meters of block work per day and actually before i worked with some masons and some laborers who used to install about 16 square meters per day if we give them double present or let's say four hours over time they used to fix double the productivity here but again the pay is double so in 12 hours of work 8 hours plus 4 hours which is considered as double present because 4 hours over time will be double the normal hour price so they used to install or fix between 16 to 18 even square meters per day but if you will not use any overtime then one mason and one helper can do 8 square meters per day let's say then let's go to the floor tile fixing so one mason and one helper can do 12 square meters per day it can be 15 also that's fine so let's say 12 to 15 or even it can go more again it depends on your labors how much good they are and what is their experience and all of this stuff these numbers are just for you to start with then after that for granite and marble floor fixing one mason and one helper can do four square meters only per day because it is harder than the normal porcelain or ceramic tiles then after that for the skirt one mason and one helper can do 35 linear meters of skirting per day and there is one important point that I would like to highlight here related to the floor and wall tiles actually the wall tile is usually easier than the floor tile why because the wall tile doesn't need all that filling and then leveling the filling and then putting the mortar and all and when it comes to the mason works the block the plaster the floor tiles wall tiles all these mason works sometimes two masons can work with only one helper but here what I am assuming is the standard case where one mason will have one helper to help him to install the skirting or the floor tiles or wall tiles or anything so I am trying to keep the things at the safer side but as I told you from the practical point of view one helper can do mixing the mortar and material handling of block and tiles and all this stuff for two masons it can happen but the case that I am considering here here is one mason and one helper for all these things for the block work one mason one helper for the floor tile one mason one helper for the granite and the marble for the skirting and all this stuff coming to the internal wall plaster here you need one mason and one helper to do 10 square meters of internal wall plaster and I have seen one mason and one helper who did 30 square meters actually per day but this is not the standard case and they will not do that every day so I want one number that can be on average applicable every day so 10 square meters every day consistent yes it can happen then going after that to the wall tiles ceramic or porcelain again one mason and one helper can do 10 square meters per day I have seen one mason and one helper doing one full bathroom which is 27 or 30 square meters so but that was with double present so if you will just pay only eight hours then I think the 10 square meters will be fair enough for the wall tile fixing then let's go to the external plastering works so one mason and one helper can do about eight square meters per day I know that these numbers might look very less but still I am telling you I need this number every day if they do in one day 30 square meters then two three days they don't have any work front in the side and they do two three meters per day then I didn't win anything I need a number that is workable for me every day so again the external plastering works they are working on a building externally and they are standing on a scaffolding so it's hard for them to execute more than eight square meters actually I see the eight much it can be six or something but looking to the cost per unit it seems to be fair enough and when we go after that actually in this video also I am focusing only on the civil part because I am still collecting information about the MEP part of the works so that I can give you some reliable information that you can work with 
So I am dedicating this video to the civil part only and the MEP I'll do later on. So for the interlock tiles fixing, one mason and one helper can do 15 square meter per day. And for the curbstone fixing, one mason and one helper can do 15 linear meters per day. So as I told you, I was using this file to calculate the cost per unit where I have the cost here of this work crew. Either it is two carpenters and eight helpers or either it is one mason and one helper the cost of the crew and the productivity of the crew to calculate the cost per unit of this activity. So here I've shared with you these productivities and this video here will show you how to calculate the productivity and the below one will show you how to calculate the labor cost for each item. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.